Hey guys, Taipei here. Uh, so today I got a new audio interface. Um, it has loopback and that was what I really needed to make my setup work. Now I'm able to record my voice with the microphone that I got. I wasn't able to use it before. Uh, so this is a super quick video. I'm kind of testing the setup, see if, uh, if it works, if it sounds okay. Uh, hopefully you guys commenting this video. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the main idea for this video is uh, automation. Um, this is something that I've been uh, um, reading in the forums that people complain. Um, I complain like a lot about it as well. Is that uh, in Reno is every pattern, uh, every 64 lines pattern uh, basically breaks any automation. So if you want to have uh, a volume curb, spanning for over four patterns of 64 lines. Uh, you need to basically add two points, then go to the other pattern and add two points like this, you know, something like this. If you want to to go to the to the, or, to the other pattern, you need to start and make it like this again. And it's, it's messy to make it like this. And what I suggest to someone, so to someone in the forums is that to use the LFO chain to a hydra and then to any device that you want and the hydra is only for utility so you can pinpoint the values uh, faster and with more precision uh, and i've been using that technique a lot lately to make automation of any kind uh, in Reno's. so it works like this so uh, get an lfo and look for a hydra and get a gainer device so you will uh, make the necessary connections, like uh, in this case, the, the input of the Hydra, and you want to cover the entire amplitude here. And then what we want to do uh, to set stuff with more precision or basically whatever it is that you want to do, you want to go to custom. And here in this line, I want to make it like the frequency, the speeds going for 256 lines. So it covers this entire four patterns here. Uh, let me delete these automations. And the only thing that you need to remember to do everything, and uh, basically the only thing you need to remember to do is to reset the LFO because as you can see here it's a free running LFO is going to as soon as you place it on the device is going to start running uh, based on the speed and, and any setting you you have with it um, yeah in in this uh, sound which is basically a, a synth here super simple line I want uh, to go from and the gainer is going to be from minus infinite to zero dB and once it reaches zero I want to uh, keep keep it uh, at zero dB so I turn the LFO into one shot mode and this is basically my automation for these four patterns so now when I go to the first pattern and I basically set up an automation for the reset I can listen to it Yeah, so as you can see, it works perfectly. It re-triggers itself after the four patterns because we have the uh, the re-trigger command placed here in the in the first pattern. And because we also have the Hydra, we can uh, if we have multiple devices like filters or reverse and stuff like that, we can automate everything using the same curve. Or if you want, you can just simply uh, set up a new LFO with a new Hydra. Uh, and do it for for any other parameter that is not going to have this uh, same shape. Um, yeah, hopefully this will solve some issues for you guys. 
for you guys. And yeah, it's, it, it seems that it's kind of complicated. You need to bring three devices and make the necessary connections. But if you compare this, uh, that is already like that, and you have super, um, you have a lot of control over the color of the over the curve, and you can mess around with it and add more points and do more, make it do more stuff. Uh, as soon as you get the hang of it, you are be using this more than the regular automation, uh, which is a really a pain in the ass to go here and make a curve and then go to the other one, make a curve. Um, that's not the, the worst part. The worst part is that when you copy the pattern, you'll be copying this exact, this exact curve. And then you need to go and change it again if you want for the values to have a different, uh, the, the parameters to have a different value for the pattern. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this will be helpful and let me know uh, if the setup works, if you can listen to my voice and the sound and I'll be making more tutorials with Renoise and with Bigwig and hopefully I'll be using more Redux inside Bigwig so you can have a uh, you can see how I use it to integrate the tracker stuff with the uh, with the regular arrangement that I know a lot of you guys are interested in later um lately uh yeah so thanks for watching this video and uh, peace